These are um, struvite stones. They're urinary bladder stones. They're secondary to uh, certain types of urinary tract infections. And uh, sort of like the pearl and the oyster sort of idea, they start out um, as just microscopic, uh, but then uh, it builds a certain kind of uh, uh, mineral product that builds around and begins to fill. So you can see in this, in these, that there's some really small ones, you know, not much bigger than a grain of sand, and then they gradually get bigger um, if they stay in there long enough. So um, they can be dissolved with certain types of uh, special diets, but in this case, uh, she was uh, uh, unable to urinate because she had one that was uh, obstructing her ability to urinate, so it didn't seem wise to, to take a chance on that occurring uh, since she was in a lot of distress, so we just went ahead and surgically removed them. The, um, uh, if we get rid of the infection uh, in her, which uh, is usually done with just a course of antibiotics, appropriately, then uh, she shouldn't form any more of these. So uh, I've seen them as, oh, I've seen, I've pulled ones that were big as a golf ball out in uh, some instances, so they can be pretty impressive. And this one kind of felt like a bag of marbles, but uh, they're, uh, uh, they're very interesting, uh, but uh, I'm sure they weren't very interesting to her. So. Um,